Hey, what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to solve a second order non-homogeneous koichi euler differential equation here we have a second order differential equation now let's see how to figure out whether a second order differential equation is a koichi euler or not to figure this one out first you have to look at the x power if the x power and the order is same then this is a koichi euler but it has to be same for everything for the first one if you look at this one x power 2 and y double prime the power and the order are same and for the second one x power 1 and the order is 1 right power is x power is 1 and the order also 1 and also for this one x power is 0 because we don't see any x it means x power is 0 and we don't have any derivative it means both of them are 0 right so it's matching like every this x power and orders are matching so this is a Cauchy Euler, Euler second order differential equation. That's how we figure out whether a second order differential equation is a Cauchy Euler or not. Here it's a non-homogeneous differential equation. So to find the general solution, we have to find out the particular solution, yp, yp, and also we have to find out the complementary solution. Finding the complementary solution is much easier. What we have to do is we have to pick up the coefficient in front of this Cauchy Euler for the first one, that is a that is equal to 1 there's nothing in front it means the coefficient is 1 b it's negative 2 and for c it's just 2 okay then we have to write the arbitrary solution or we can say characteristic equation the characteristic equation of a Cauchy Euler differential equation is going to look like this am times m minus 1 plus bm plus c is equal to 0 now we have to plug this a b c value and see whether we are getting distinct real roots or equal real roots or we are getting com complex number based on that the complementary sol solution is going to be different okay this is just to find out the complementary solution now let's go ahead and plug the values a is 1 so this is going to be just m times m minus 1 and b is 2 b is negative 2 let's plug that one right here this is going to be just minus 2 m and then c is 2 so we just put 2 right here and that is equal to 0 now let's simplify this one this is going to be just m square minus 1 minus minus m square minus m minus 2 m plus 2 is equal to 0 if we simplify this one furthermore this is going to be m square minus 3 m plus 2 is equal to 0 now let's see whether we can factor this one or not like if you see when we add we have to get negative 3 when we multiply we have to get positive 2 minus 2 and minus 1 will work so m minus 2 and m minus 1 is going to be the factor of this one okay that's equal to 0 from this one we can see m is equal to 2 and then m is equal to 1 we are getting two distinct distinct real roots distinct distinct real uh, distinct roots okay since we are getting distinct real roots our complement resolution is going to look like this yc is going to be equal to c1 x square plus c2 x if you remember when we do the second order differential equation we had e power whatever the m value we multiply that one with the power right uh, like uh, let, let me write the solution for if it's a second order differential equation the pattern will be like this y is equal to c1 e power and we multiply this m by x that's 2x plus c2 e power x okay but for Cauchy Euler what we do is we put x in the like x like this and we put the m as power that's the only difference otherwise it's always same and uh, this is the only difference for Cauchy Euler and the normal second order difference equation okay now we found out the complementary solution the next thing is particular solution particular solution is similar for everything like even if it's Cauchy Euler or not particular solution is going to be same like we are going to find the particular solution in the same way here i am going to use the variation of parameter technique variation of parameter technique parameter in variation of parameter when we solve a second order non-homogeneous differential equation first of all we have to bring this into a standard form because in standard form we shouldn't have anything multiplying this by double prime so we have to get rid of this x square right to get rid of this x square what we have to do is we have to divide everything by x square x square divide x square divide and here also x square divide and then x square divide when you divide the first term by x square that's going to be just y double prime 
and when you divide the second term by x square that's going to be just negative 2 y prime divided by x and then the third term is going to be just 2y divided by x square and the after equal sign you can see we have x cube if you divide that by x square this is going to be just 2x e power x okay now this is in standard form and also from the general solution of the i mean complementary solution of the differential equation we can pick up the y1 and y2 because this is important for us because we are going to use Ronskian to find out this u1 and u2 because when we do the uh, variation of parameter the particular solution is will be in this pattern u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2 now to find out the u1 first we have to find out the u1 prime u1 prime is equal to w1 divided by w and u2 prime is equal to w2 over w so to find out this w w1 w2 we have to use the wrong scan okay now let's go ahead and use the wrong scan first i find the w to find the w what we do is we put the y we create a 2 by 2 matrix in this 2 by 2 matrix what we do is we put this y1 on top that's x square and y2 is just x and then we have to find the derivative of this one x square derivative that's 2x x derivative that's going to be just 1 then we have to do the determinant determinant is going to be just if you look remember that when we have a b c d a d minus b c is the determinant for 2 by 2 matrix so for this one this is going to be x square minus 2x square x, x square times 1 that's going to be just x square and 2x times x that's going to be just 2x square x square minus 2x square that's going to be just negative x square this is our w value the next thing is we have to find out the w1 to find out the w1 what we do is when you see this one you have to remember that we put a zero for the first one okay you can remember that one easily like when you see one put the zero for the first one and below that you have to put g of x g of x should be picked up from the standard form like after we divide by everything by x square because this should only come from the standard form that's why we divide everything by x square because the gx should be coming from the standard form so here we have 2x e power x that's our g of x g of x and then that g of x should go under this zero so this is going to be just 2x e power x and then after that the second term will remain the same that's x over 1 now we have to find the determinant of this one that's going to be just 0 times 1 then minus 2x times x e power x that's going to be just 2x square e power x now we found out the w1 the next thing is we have to find out the w2 to find the w2 the di difference between w1 and w2 we put the 0 second if it's w2 remember like when you see the 2 you put the 0 for the second one okay we create the I mean 2 by 2 matrix for the first first one remains the same x square over 2x x square and 2x remains the same and for the second term we put the 0 right here and the g of x also we put it down below this 0 that's 2x e power x now we do the ad minus bc x square times 2x e power x that's going to be just 2x cube e power x now we found out the w w1 w2 so we can go ahead and find out the g1 u1 prime and u2 prime now uh, let's get rid of this first thing here the we found out the complementary solution so this is just unnecessary for now so let's get rid of this one and continue right here okay, let's get rid of this okay let's continue we found out w1 w2 w so we can put it in this equation this uh, this equation is u1 prime is equal to, equal to w1 over w u1 prime is equal to w1 over w w1 we just found out that's negative 2x square e power x negative 2x square e power x divided by w that's negative x square here you can see negative x square x square and negative cancels each other so we will get 2 e power x this is just u1 prime but to find out the particular solution the particular solution as we seen here before particular solution is multiplication of u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2 here we have u1 prime so we have to find out what is u u1 is to find out the u1 we have to integrate because when we integrate derivative and integral cancels each other we will get what is u the u1 value so let's go ahead and integrate if you integrate 2 integral of e power x with respect to x you will get e power x because integration of e power x is going to be just e power x plus a constant but when we do the u1 and u2 we don't have to worry about the constant because the constant will finally absorb everything 
So we don't have to worry about this constant. We just have to put a, put the integral that's e power x. So this is going to be 2 e power x. And then now we found out the u1. The next thing is we have to find out the u2. First let's find the u2 prime. u2 prime is w2 divided by w. w2 we just found out right here that's 2x cube e power x. 2x cube e power x divided by w that's negative x square. Here we let's cancel whatever we can cancel. X square cancel with this one. That's going to be x power 1 right here. And this is going to become negative 2x e power x. Now here the, the integrate we have to do the integration by parts. Let's go ahead and continue right here. In integration by parts, if you remember, like integration of u dv is equal to in, integration of u dv is equal to integration, I mean uv minus integration of v du so we have to pick up uh, u and v value carefully here i pick up u value as x and v value as e power x and then if you do the if u is x then du is going to be just dx and then dv is going to be e power x dx e power x dx now we have u v du dv so we can plug it in this equation that's going to be u v is part x times e power x x x times e power x minus integration of v du v is e power x and then du is dx if you integrate e power x that's going to be just e power x so this is going to be just x e power x minus e power x now we just found out x e power x we just did it for x e power x we didn't do negative 2 so finally we have to multiply this one by this is all these are u we are finding u2 because after integration is u2 we are just integrated x power e x e power x finally we just have to multiply everything by negative 2 because we did integration of x power e x e power x we didn't consider this negative 2 so, so we just multiply finally negative 2 everything right so this is going to be negative 2x e power x plus 2 plus 2 e power x now if we found out the u2 finally we have to write our particular solution let's go ahead and write the particular solution let's get rid of all this wrong scan thing and continue right here okay now the particular solution is going to be Multiply first uh, u1 multiplied by y1. We found that u1 is equal to 2 e power x. 2 e power x multiplied by y1 is the first term of the general solution, I mean complementary solution, that's x square. So x e power x multiplied by x square, that's going to be x cube e power x. And then we uh, plus u2 times y2. u2 is x multiplied by. I mean y2 is x multiplied by u2 that's going to be what negative 2x I put it in a bracket negative 2x square e power x plus 2x e power x okay 2x e power x okay I made a mistake here let's let's double check 2x cube x cube e power x hmm. x square c1 is x square y1 is x square u1 is 2 okay this one should be 2x square e power x because we are multiplying u1 with y1 so this one should be 2x 2x square e power x okay let's write it right here 2x square 2x square e power x here you can see we, we have a positive 2x square e power x and here we have a negative 2x square e power x. These two cancels each other and finally we will end up with yp is equal to 2x e power x. Okay. Now if we found out the particular solution and we already have the complementary solution. Addition of these two is going to be the general solution because general solution is addition of yp particular solution plus complementary solution. Let's go ahead and write the general solution. So the general solution of this differential equation is going to be c1 x square plus c2 x plus 2 x e power x and that's our final answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn differential equation there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.